Good morning. So this is my 10th week and um, I'm back at it again. Uh, this is a little project my son's little girl Dallas and I started. Um, I bought these buckets during uh, uh, Easter clearance sale. They were nine cents a piece. So I drilled holes in the bottom and um, we had a lot of fun filling them. So these are actually um, hummingbird wildflower uh, seeds that we planted in here, or well, that she planted in here. So she would have some little wildflowers. And in these, um, she actually planted, um, uh, I put a slice of tomato and then some strawberry seeds. So we had fun um, picking off some strawberry seeds and I see that something has already begun to sprout, but I think that's another one of her hummingbird um, wildflower seeds. And then the other two are um, tomato and tomato and strawberry seeds. And that's her pepper. She hasn't planted yet. But um, I use some catering tops to put over the tops to keep them from drying out so fast because here in South Mississippi, it's already starting to get real hot. And over here, my mystery seeds I see have actually turned out to be watermelon and some type of squash, and they're already beginning to flower. I had to uh, space out the bricks. I'll be removing those later on before it rains um, so that they could sort of um, begin to spread out. I think the bricks are becoming too hot and they were wilting a lot, so um, I laid them down, and so they started thriving, and then they started blooming, and so they're starting to take off a little bit. I planted some more herbs um, here, but I'll be removing these pots soon because I want to remove the plastic and um, dig a few holes for my bootleg bougie box garden. Um, since the uh, tornadoes that came through and um, I've been having to work um, a little bit more I still wanted to get out and plant so I wanted to start um, to do something I didn't have pots or whatever so I started this bootleg <laughs> bougie box garden and I, I didn't expect for it to take off like it did I had some random seeds in that, that I planted so that's what's in these boxes that are somewhat starting to break down a little bit, but the, I sort of had an idea to have a bed in this spot, but I needed to remove this particular tree. And I wasn't sure when I was gonna do that, but I still wanted to plant something, so that's what this is. So this is actually, what's in the bottom of this pot, uh, what's planted in this pot is actually um, uh, some plum um, shoots from my grandmother's plum tree and it looks like that they have died off but actually the roots were very very um, good so I, my mom told me to leave them planted and I guess on a windy day uh, a sunflower um, seed blew in and a carrot seed blew in and I think that other that other thing that's growing may be grass but these are carrots um, what didn't come up was lavender. None of my lavender seeds came up. My mom had some seeds that were just randomly sitting around the house when we were cleaning out the house uh, that she found and said, hey, try to plant these and see what, it are, what they are. And it uh, ended up being corn and it looks like all of the corn came up. So I used um, the Girl Scout cookie box and uh, my Amazon shipping boxes for planting. And it seems like the Amazon shipping boxes have really done well. That's corn and actually a potato. Uh, my friend had some potatoes that um, he was letting the gold ruin. So they gave them to me because I was trying to plant everything. And they actually all started coming up. So uh, I'm going to actually um, take the corn out and... Um, Come out here later on this afternoon and plant them here and so they have a, a little bit of space here and um, this is zucchini and i see the okra seeds finally sprouted up so i'm gonna have to 
um, space those out as well. This is an old um, laundry basket that I just put a wee barrier liner in. And those are some more potatoes. I thought I was planting um, cauliflower here. And now I'm not sure what's planted here. The um, It said cauliflower. I don't know if it's cauliflower or not. Um, so that's weird. I thought I put cold roby and a bell pepper here. And if that is cold roby, let me tell you, the other day I did a blend and I used those leaves along with my table, tabletop salad, um, which is this kale, the spinach, and a uh, mustard green salad mix um, that is here um, every day for the last nine, 10 weeks. I've been eating off of this um, salad table. Um, it's starting to molt a little bit, as you can see from uh, the spinach. So I'm gonna just let it do its thing. Um, and then I'm gonna turn it over and plant something else. But for right now, like this morning, I'll probably blend something for either lunch or I'll eat a salad or I'll pick some and saute. And just have a little fun with it. I've been adding it to other dishes as well as I'm cooking. Um, so that's been a lot of fun. Some more mystery seeds I had, and I just, my mom said to put them in the ground, and then she said, oh, you need to um, put some more dirt and mound it up. She said, you should have mounded it up. Well, I didn't know. So it ended up being watermelon. So I'm gonna put some more um, soil around them and mound them up a little bit as they come up. Um, she said that'll help them out a lot. Something was here, and, uh, try to rescue a plant that was given to me but they died so I don't know I don't know I'll probably pull it up and put something else here those are radishes that's another mystery squash that is also just blooming crazy I'm just gonna let it um, do its thing and I probably um, trellis this to this clothing line that was a clothing line so I'll probably put that there soon. And um, I'm, I'm excited to find out what it is. And these small peppers, actually I got it from a small pepper. Um, some peppers that I had and I planted the seeds and they all came up, so I put them here. They probably too close together, but now they're starting to bloom and I'm just gonna let them do what they do. I'm just trying something um, for the first time and it helps to relieve a lot of the anxiety that I have from um, work. So I just come out here, spend a little time out in the sun, which is which is very good for you. This is a uh, bell pepper. I'll be spacing these out soon. I was surprised those seeds came up. This is my um, yellow pepper. <laughs> Looks like some of them are maturing and I can eventually start pulling those out. I, I like to make pepper salsa. I'm very excited by a lot of the people that I follow online that they'll be canning. But one of my favorite things to do is to make different types of pepper sauce and I make them in old liquor bottles. And so I'm excited about that. And this is cucumber. And I'm real surprised because I thought they were going to die. And I put a little Epsom salt on them. I don't need to take the bottom leaves off. Um, so I'll take those off. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited about this one because I, I didn't think it was going to do anything. So, and then I have the three sweet potatoes. And then my beans. I was so excited. I was really um, surprised by those. These are some of those, um, some free seeds that I had. So I was real surprised that that took off the way it did. And that's my basil. I have um, wildflowers hanging. Uh, this is an old clothesline. This is an old swing. So I thought of um, this fall just using some material and making like a little mini bootleg um, um, greenhouse or something under there so I can grow throughout the winter time. I think this is a cold robot, but I thought I planted a grape seed. I don't know. The leaves look a little different now than the cold roby, but I'm not sure. And how it's growing is sort of weird. So I just planted it, just stuff, whatever 
I have a seed for in the kitchen. I just put it in the bucket. My onions every week, about two or three times a week, I'm cutting onions. So that and the table salad, I mean, I have been eating every week, several times a week off of those two things um, all week long. Surprised to see these are some something I found in the shed. Uh, these hanging tomato cages. So that has worked out fairly well. I got at least some tomatoes growing from it. I was real shocked and surprised. So um, there's some tomatoes coming on, and they're supposed to be the Creole uh, tomatoes. So I'm excited about those um, coming on the. The Cherokee probably because I should not have put three in here. At least I have one on there and I'm sort of scared to take one of the plants out. I don't know if you can transplant a plant this late in the game, but I want to try it. And um, I'm going to do what a lot of people have been doing and just taking these tops off. I don't know. Is that something you're supposed to do with these? I don't, I don't know. I'm going to try it. I've been trying all kind of stuff, just experiment. That's a cold roby. Uh, and, a and a chitlin bucket. <laughs> I took that from my mom's house too. Just little things from my mom's house. I just keep going by there and taking it. But um, we're not able to go back in the house anymore. But stuff around the house, I still want to go back. My grandmother had a plum tree that was there. I know that plum tree has probably been there over 40 years. And it's, it was producing when the storm hit because there were plums on the ground, but there were a lot of shoots. And my mom said she's going to go back by there and get the shoots from that plum tree. That plum tree is over 40 years old. So I would love to have some of the shoots from that particular particular tree. Um, that's going to be fun and interesting. I'm going to just get that spider out of the way. I don't know what happened to that leaf. It's weird. It broke off again. But I love to see these little blooms. Isn't that so, that is so cute? Um, when I was a little girl now, those blooms didn't mean nothing to me because we had some uh, back-breaking work to do in the garden. So um, I wanted these to come up and trellis along the clothesline. So, and it's not a wire clothesline. It's actually coated in plastic. So um, this area gets about uh, four hours of straight sun in the afternoon so um that's something i'm interested in my compost bucket y'all it is breaking down excellently and i like everyone's suggestion about keeping your grass clippings so i have another bucket with nothing but grass in it and so i fold in my coffee grounds my eggshells and some of the greenery like some of these old leaves and stuff from around the kitchen um, that's from produce in here and then I turn it about once a week um, this is a double bucket the bottom of this bucket actually has some holes in it so as you can see that's my compost tea so I could post some of that into my water pail and some more water oh it stinks so bad but by it um, being within this bucket I don't have um, insects or pests I could just, oh, this smells so bad. Mm-mm. No, child. Oh, no. Let me put that cap back on there. So, I got this particular bucket. Uh, I went by Chili's, and the manager let me have this bucket, and I cleaned and sanitized it. You can use, if you want to get the smell out of buckets, you can use vinegar, or you can use a little uh, peroxide and baking soda, or just baking soda and water, and just scrub it around and let it sit for a while, and... Um, and then rinse it out rip very well. That helps to get um, a lot of um, things out of a bucket. I like it because it had the little seal top. It was easy to use, and when it rains, I just take the cap off and let it uh, work that way. But that compost tea really, really, really stinks, but it works well. So that's been a big plus for me in that I'm making my own compost so that when I get ready to mount, um, to extend my uh, bootleg bougie box garden and take some of these things out. Like these are snapper peas right here. So I'm gonna take a few of those out of there and spread them out. I'll probably just leave two in there. 
that, uh, and I'll put the corn, okra over there, maybe a potato. These were tiny potatoes. I, I don't know. I'm real surprised at what's happening in the Amazon boxes. These were all things that I got from Amazon and they took off so fast. So uh, I didn't want to have the excuse that I couldn't plant something because I couldn't get out or I didn't have a post hole digger or a shovel or something like that. So I didn't want that to be my excuse, but I throw away boxes and order from Amazon. I won't say I'm an addict. Quite often, so um, um, I wanted to do something with the boxes and they didn't have any dyes on the inside, so that's sort of what I, I ran with that. I really ran with that. So I'll be planting more in buckets later on. I have a bucket back there that, um, if you just have to water your plants with uh, tap water, even if you have to just drink tap water, collect it in glass or if you collect it in a big pot outside, uh, let it sit for 24 hours. Chlorine, when it doesn't have a way to escape, will evaporate and come to the top. So within 24 hours, you would smell less of the chlorine. And a lot of, um, a lot of impurities would be lifted if you use glass. So that's just something to think about. But um, in the front of the house, I have herbs and strawberries. So I'm gonna walk that way. <laughs> That's my goodness. Oh, that's my project. I always wanted um, an old school one, so I'm excited about it. Um, hopefully, um, things won't get so bad. I've been weary of starting on that project. And um, I want to plant something out there. Since I painted my, my mailbox. This is my spearmint. If anybody got. Um, any ideas of something else I could do with this? I think I need to repot it or something. If you have any ideas, please share them in the comments. I would appreciate it. Um, I think these were some some kind of flower seeds. I put in there. That's my cilantro, which I need a bigger pot for. Uh, sage for my daughter. I planted. Um, I try to have just herbs in the front. That is my, I hope that's what it is, but it's supposed to be. I hope that's not grass, but it's supposed to be ginger. Piece of ginger that I had in there. And um, this is my garlic. And I had been y'all when it was younger. Um, you can come out here and I cut a piece and I chop it up and it smells good on my hands. These are my strawberries. And I gotta come and pick those. Um, I got strawberries. And that's my marigolds, which may or may not be doing well. My aunt gave me that pot. So I painted it and I put it out there. A lot of stuff out here that was a little bit on the mix. Uh, match side, I painted it. It's my rosemary bush that I repotted and it is growing like stink weed. So that and some flowers and my oregano and i was still wanting to see if it was going to molt or not so i was leaving that alone but i come out here and cut on and, and cut some of this i wash it real good take the leaves off and I, um off of that chop up some of that take a little rosemary even some spearmint and i just try different things in the house uh, i would like to make a something savory with the cilantro, a little bit of the garlic leaves, the green onions, the rosemary, and the oregano. I've been taking uh, the spearmint leaves and um, with lemon and making a tea every day. So that's what that is. And that's all I got going on. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions that will help me, because this is the first year that I'm ever doing any of this by myself alone um but it's helped out tremendously i want to thank everyone uh, nick thomas med farm 73 miss linda um beauty in the garden um 
Poole and Dr. Ricky. There's so many people I've started to watch right now. Um, I just want to thank everybody because a lot of times when I'm at work, um, I let things continue to run. I let the, the TV run with YouTube. So I try to go back and click like, um, but I'm working at the same time and I'm learning at the same time. So it's been a big plus if you're sort of um, being quarantined or you're working from home and you're trying not to go out a whole lot. Um, but then you're preparing for the fall. And as a healthcare professional, I'm a registered dietitian. Um, that's why another thing why the, the healthier options are very important um, to me. Hopefully later I can tell you some of the nutritional value of a lot of things that you're currently planning, what I'm planning to plant, and why it's important to have those things this fall as we approach um, um, flu season um, and getting those things in your system, those nutrients in your system in order to build up your immune system will be very, very important. So, um, I'm excited about the process. I'm excited about learning from other people for a change and just being the student for the change. And so I look forward to seeing what other um, other people that are uh, meeting the challenge of not only gardening, but just um, in today's society, just being good people and helping one another uh, is a big plus. Um, so I look forward to um, sharing again soon.